Grab yourself a cup of coffee and let's get into my favorites. It's not that much. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shirley, if you are new here. And if you are new, become a part of this lovely family because she needs you here. She really does. The title stated, I'm going to be going over a few of my favorite things from 2020. Not that it came out in 2020, but that it's my favorite for 2020. I found myself reaching for these items a lot. And the first thing I'm bringing forth is this Haas Laboratory Liquid Eyeliner. <laughs> it's the bomb.com. I think this is my top favorite thing from 2020. Favorite thing, the Haas Laboratory Eyeliner. It was my favorite thing. I didn't even know it was made by Lady Gaga. Now I'm gonna go over some of the beauty part, like what I use on my face that I like that I discovered in 2020. I don't put a lot of stuff on my face. I moisturize, I make sure I use sunblock, and I use something in at night and then something in the day, but it's not a whole lot of stuff she does. My skin is semi-sensitive to certain things. I don't like trying new things on my face because sometimes my face just don't react to it well. So I'm gonna go over, I think it's just, just a few things. These things I apply with other things that I use at night. I got this in my boxy charm, and this was the I can't say volatin volatin snow mushroom water serum. I absolutely love this. Really love it. And then this was also in my boxy charm from Clean Skin Club, the vitamin C brightening serum. And yeah, serum, brightening booster, the vitamin C brightening booster. I like this, see, she been using that one. And I won this in a giveaway. This Estee Lauder Night Repair Serum. I like this, I really like this. It didn't break me out. That what made me like things. It didn't break my skin out. And now let's go into the makeup part of the video. I don't know where to start. I got this in my boxy charm. It's the Pretty Filter Glossy Skin Balm. And you can also use it as a primer. And I use it for both of them. I love this. It, I just can't explain what it do to your skin when you use it. It's a great moisturizer and it's a great primer for the makeup. I love this. Will I purchase it by myself? I don't know. It's for they're like I said, nah, they're not new, but they these are the things I tried in 2020. This little elf palette is a bomb.com. I love these shades. That blue is everything. Juvia's place been out for a while, but last year was my first time trying her product, especially her palettes. And I fell in love with this Zulu palette. This Zulu, Zulu, girlfriend. Look, you can use this palette as a face palette. I use this palette and I used it for my entire face. Eyeshadow, blush, contour, everything is in this palette. So if you want to get a palette with everything in it, try this Zulu by Juvia's. This is one of my favorite palettes for last year. I use that palette for at least a week or two. And then I also love this Afric, Afric by her. This is a really nice palette. Really, really nice. And the Warrior 3 palette by Juvia's. She have really nice colors in here that you could just do so many things with it. So many things with it. And then one of my final palettes is the Naked by Urban Decay, the honey one. This is a one of spring, summer, and fall palette to me. Because you can use it. You can just use it. I love it. 
I love this palette. That's the pa palettes that I like. Now let me show you this one thing came up at the end of the year. Two things came up at the end of the year that I love. This Ace Beauty Bronze in Paradise. I love these colors and they work so well. If you need a bronzer, this is the palette to get. I love it, love it, love it. Love it, love it. And now let's get into, now let me show you. I know we couldn't wear much lipstick during the lockdown and the pandemic, but I was wearing matte lipstick up under my mask because I take my mask off in the office and just in case you walk in before I can get it on, I need to be complete. And I've been rocking mattes. These by these are soft mats by ColourPop. I've been wearing these two. They came with the Shayla ColourPop Cautious line. This is Flow Down. I love this one. I have this on now. And then <laughs> that say Slow Down, and this is Speed Up. It's like a pinkish color. I like that one too. And I've been wearing this matte retro matte. I like this. And I also been wearing um, Wet n Wild Fergie. And it was a lipstick I discovered at the end of the year and it was in my um, haul. And this is by Juvia's Place. And it's so strange when I use my, when my niece use it, it looked dark brown on her. But when I put it on, it's a burgundy looking color. But I really like this. So those are the lipsticks that I've been wearing, like matte lipstick. And I also been wearing this Soul Matte, Soul Mate by um, it's in I can't read it, so I have to put it in the link. It's sort of like a tint with a little, it like butters the lips, cause I have to have something on my lip and not just lip chat. And then to finish it off, two setting spray that I started last year. I absolutely love them both. And if this is the, by um, Ciate London, Everyday Vacay. I love the way this one smells and it feels so nice when it goes on the skin. And this Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray by Charlotte Tilbury. If you haven't tried it, I don't know what to say. I love this setting spray. Love it. I love the smell of it. I love this setting spray. Now her powder is another story. And then last but not least, cleaning off all that makeup I put on. I like this very cherry cleanse cleaner. It's a cleansing balm that you put it on and it just melts the makeup right off of your face. But do not. Get it in your eye. <laughs> it don't burn. It just put a gloss over your eye for a while. Like you can't see it look foggy. Oh. Let's have some drink. A little, little drink of coffee. If I remember to tag that video. When I introduced this. Holiday Dylan by Starbucks. They might have it on clearance somewhere. You might see it somewhere. If you see this coffee and you are a coffee drinker, it have to be the holiday blend, not the Christmas blend, but the holiday blend herbal and sweet maple notes by Starbucks. I can't get enough of it. I went and bought me four bags because it's going to go away because it's only a holiday blend coffee, but it is so good. Mm. If you're a coffee drinker, give that a try. So guys, that are some of my favorites for 2020, which I will probably be using in 2021 and 2022, if the Lord permit, and I'm still here. I just want to thank you guys for stopping by and watching my video because you didn't have to. You could have went and looked at any other video, but you looked at mine, and I'm so appreciative of you doing that for me. And now, if you're new, 
and that subscribe button is still red. Can you turn it to great and put the parenthesis around it? I really appreciate it. So guys, I will see you in my next uh oh I hope this turned out.